What's up guys, this is Van from Ors, and today I have an extreme product to show you guys. This right here, if I can bring it out without hurting myself, is the brand new, just launched, X570 Ors Extreme. This is the flagship motherboard of the Ors X570 lineup. Let's talk about some of the biggest features and go over the design changes that we've done for this generation. Let's do this. Okay, so let's start off by doing a unboxing of this. Okay, let's... Dude, look at this box, it's so crazy. Such a nice packaging. Premium packaging for a premium product. I'll set this aside. Oh, dude, check this out. This is what we're looking after today. So, check this out. See how big this thing is? You guys can't feel it, but trust me, dude, this thing is super heavy. Okay, but we're gonna set this aside for just a couple minutes. We're gonna go more about what's inside the box, and then we're gonna come revisit the motherboard. Oh man. What are we gonna get here? Oh, stickers, of course. Can't forget their stickers. You're gonna have your usual array of paperwork. Okay, so something else you're gonna get inside the box. Ooh, interesting. This is the Oris RGB Fan Commander. You guys might have seen it before, but if you guys haven't, let me quickly explain what this thing's all about. This thing right here is kind of like a, a hub. So you're gonna connect all of your uh, fans, your RGB strips into here, and this thing connects to your motherboard via USB and basically controls everything. So again, we include this inside the box with the X570 Aorus Extreme, so it's a nice bonus that you get when you're picking up this motherboard. If you guys wanna find out more information about this thing right here, um, let us know in the comments below. We can always do some more follow-up videos on this and talk to you guys exactly about what that's all about. Okay, check this out. Cables, a plenty. So you're gonna get your RGB cables, additional SATA cables, uh, Wi-Fi antenna, Wi-Fi antenna, Velcro ties, additional screws and standards. Ooh, hey, nice USB flash drive. We'll include this in the box now with the X570 Aorus Master. Don't miss on this one. And yeah, that was quickly putting all the side. Oh, can't forget, Gigabyte G connector. Basically, you connect all your front panel connectors to here. This goes to the motherboard. Super nice and easy. Okay, so that's it when it comes to the accessories. Uh, the trouble is how we're gonna clean this up. I know what to do. Oh, dude, Thanos would be proud. Anyways, let's move over to the main star of the show, X570 Aorus Extreme. And dude, I'm having a workout just by holding this. Main reason being, you guys can see, this is an EATX motherboard. And you can see how much heat sinks are on here. First up, yeah, I wanna talk about heat sinks. So pretty much this thing is a gigantic heat sink, front and back. So because of that, we really wanted to focus on the cooling aspect of this motherboard. So when it comes to cooling, let's break down some of the biggest cooling components on here. First one being the heat sinks. So we have a thin array heat sink. Again, this is upgraded for X570 generation. So it's new and improved. You're gonna get a very large heat pipe running across and down to the board. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that thing is absolutely crazy. Once you get down here, Pretty much a gigantic slab of metal. Again, this is used for heat dissipation. Basically, it's gonna cover your M.2 slots. It's gonna cover the chipset area. It's gonna cover the side area over here. And we're gonna continue over to the back. And again, this whole thing right here, it's a back plate, yes, but it's also helping with heat dissipation on this platform. The reason why we wanted to focus so much on heat dissipation is because on this motherboard, we put a direct 16 phase power design on here. So that's absolutely crazy. If you're looking to pick up the new Ryzen 3000 series processor and you're looking to push it via overclocking, um, push it to do uh, liquid cooling or, or whatever it is you wanna do, this board is basically gonna be the best option for you when it comes to that type of stuff. So probably by now, at this point in the video, you guys are probably in awe of the design. So I'm gonna add a little bit of an extra thing for you guys. I'm gonna plug in this very nice and convenient RGB cable. Show you guys what it looks like when it's lit up. And check it out. So we have RGB Fusion 2.0 lighting on here. So again, this syncs with your Aorus graphics cards, your Aorus RAM, your Aorus CPU coolers, mice, keyboards, whatever you call it, Aorus it syncs up with our whole ecosystem. And something that I also wanna point out is for this generation, X570, the design, we've completely redesigned it. So now it's a very flat black and silver color scheme. It's a very neutral color scheme. So whatever build you're trying to go for, red, white, black, blue, this motherboard right here pretty much goes 
perfectly with those colors. Another thing I want to talk about is if I shift it over to this side right here. So you can see all 90 degree connectors over here because this is an EATX board. Um, we did design this this way because it's easier to install into your PC, easier to plug in all the cables that you need. Our channel, I'm Gabby from Oros, and with me is Sophos, our technical marketing PN. Hi Gabby, hi guys. Oros X570 and Marvel are finally here and we are all very excited. So, can you explain me about the Oros X570 lineup? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Gigabyte's uh, Oros X570 lineup contains seven different models. You can have a look on them uh, right here. Yes. Uh, the Oros Extreme, the Oros Master, and the Oros ITX motherboards. Uh, they are for enthusiast users uh, who are looking to upgrade to the best peripheral components, but it's also great so it's, uh, for extreme water cooling mm -hmm. builds. Uh, they are suitable uh, for AAA gamers uh, who want to play their games on ultra settings. Uh, the Oros Ultra and the Oros uh, uh, Pro and Pro Wi-Fi are primarily uh, designed for gamers to dominate their, their opponents in-game uh, with a motherboard's excellent list of features. They are still suitable uh, for AAA gamers, but not for ultra settings. Uh, the Oros Elite is an entry uh, gaming solution which still offers a great performance but with less features. Okay, so how if I am a budget gamer, which model will you recommend? Oh, I would definitely recommend you the Oros Elite. Uh, I think it offers a great performance uh, to value ratio. Okay, thanks for your suggestion. So, what is the main difference between the previous uh, generation mainstream and the chipset compared to X570? Okay, so X570 chipset comes with a lot of new features, but the one that really stands out is uh, the new PCIe 4.0 interface. Uh, the PCIe uh, 4.0 interface is being enabled with a third generation uh, AMD Ryzen CPUs, and it allows for double the bandwidth of PCIe 3.0 interface. But in order, in order for the new motherboards uh, to be able to achieve this kind of uh, speeds, uh, they need a more advanced uh, design that contains new components uh, to ensure the best PCI 4.0 signal quality, including mm -hmm. PCB, uh, PCI slots, and the two slots, read drivers, and switches uh, that are specifically designed uh, for this new interface. Uh, also, Gigabyte, in cooperation with AMD, uh, develops PCI 4.0 uh, graphics cards and the new uh, PCIe 4.0 M.2 SSD, mm -hmm. uh, which was announced at Computex 2019. Okay, so as far as we know, AMD announced the third generation Ryzen 60 core CPU. Do X570 motherboard needs any advanced power design to support them? Uh, of course, uh, it's the first time that we see so many cores in the mainstream yes. chipset, uh, and the new motherboards definitely need a more advanced uh, power solution. Uh, this time on the Oros Extreme, uh, the Oros Master and the uh, ITX model uh, of our motherboards, uh, we use a power design that we call uh, direct power design. Mm -hmm. Basically, using the latest PWM controller, uh, we're able to have one power stage per phase uh, without any components in between. Uh, that results to a lower uh, voltage ripple, perfect low uh, load balance, and a higher power efficiency than before. Although, even on the lower-end motherboards, we don't compromise the power performance. Uh, even our solid is equipped with 14 phases in total, uh, providing users with the best possible performance. Oh, so, uh, what makes Oros thermal design unique and why this model doesn't have a chipset fan? Alright, so obviously having the best power design uh, on the Oros motherboards, we couldn't, uh, they, they couldn't support a cheap uh, cooling solution. Uh, Oros motherboards are the only motherboards in the market that are equipped with heat sinks that have real fins uh, for a better uh, heat dissipation. Uh, there's also a unique design where the heat... Welcome to the ASUS X570 Motherboard Buyer's Guide. Now, this time, AMD has really knocked it out of the park with an incredible chipset. We have CPUs up to 16 cores. This is bridging the gap between mainstream and high-end desktops. We also have PCIe Gen 4, preparing us for the next generation of performance in both storage and graphics power. Now, this has led us to create our most diverse lineup of motherboards we've ever made in our history for AMD. 
And that means there's something for everyone, whether you're a gamer, a content creator, or a normal Joe looking to build a new PC, there's definitely something you'll be interested in here. Now, let's take a look at some of the common features we have to offer, and then we'll get down into each board's specifics. First thing I want to point out is the power delivery. We've really beefed it up from the low end all the way to our premium boards here. We want to make sure we can handle up to 16 core CPUs. So we've made sure even the low end boards are definitely equipped to handle that. We have teamed power stages on all the boards, no phase doublers here. And the reason is because we want to be really fast. When that CPU goes from idle to suddenly demanding a lot of power across many cores, we need to be really fast when we deliver that power. And so we've done that with the teamed power stages. We've also opted for high layer counts in the PCB. So even on our low end boards, we haven't skimped out. We don't have any four layer PCBs here as you might see from other manufacturers. We've gone with six layer PCBs on even on our lowest end boards. And that gives us a few benefits. The first is PCIe Gen 4 compliance. So we're already prepared for all the current devices that are PCIe Gen 4, and we're ready for whatever might come to the market later. So you're a bit future-proof there, which is really important. We also have improved thermal dissipation. So the extra layers of PCB are gonna help draw heat away from those critical components. And finally, we have more memory stability. This is especially important if you're overclocking. Now, another common feature, and something you've probably already noticed, is that all of the boards have active cooling on the chipset. Why is this? Well, this chipset, compared to the last generation, has almost double the bandwidth. So it's running a little hotter, and the active cooling is gonna prevent throttling, prevent performance throttling, no matter how much storage you load up your system with. So it's really important, especially if you're gonna load all those slots with next-gen storage. Another feature these boards all have in common is five-way optimization. This is some really powerful software we've developed that automatically overclocks your build specifically for your build. So the way it works is it runs your system through a series of stress tests and gives you the best overclock for your components. It even allows you to tune your fan profiles automatically and you can decide if you want your fans to be dependent on your GPU or your CPU or even a hybrid combination of both. That's really powerful stuff you won't find with a competition. In addition, we have some amazing onboard headers across these boards, which automatically detect whether you're using a DC fan or a PWM fan, allowing you to get the best performance no matter what type of fan you buy. Now, if you're someone who likes to manually tweak and tune your system, the ASUS UEFI makes it extremely easy. We have all the features you could ever dream of and we make them very accessible and really easy. So if you wanna manually tweak your CPU settings, your, your memory timings, you can easily do that from inside the BIOS. Now, we have about a dozen boards and we've split them into five distinct series. The first series we're going to start off with today is the Tough Gaming series. Now, this is built for people who value durability. So we've taken the lessons we've learned from our high-end motherboards, and we brought some of those components and some of those features that are focused on durability all the way down into the Tough Gaming motherboards. Another thing we've done is we've designed these to be great for first-time builders. So if you are building a PC, it's your very first one, we want to make sure all the components work together. You don't want to buy a graphics card that doesn't work with your motherboard or RAM that's not compatible. So what we've done is we have the Tough Alliance program where we work with third parties to make sure that all their Tough Alliance components work with our Tough Gaming motherboards. So you can be sure when you make a Tough build, everything's going to work together seamlessly. That's what Tough is all about. So we have two Tough Gaming boards. We have the Tough Gaming X570 Plus and X570 Plus with Wi-Fi. The Tough boards come with some really cool features related specifically to durability, in line with the Tough series as a whole. The first is military grade caps and chokes. This gives us really clean, pure power delivery. We also have really beefy heat sinks, which of course helps us keep temperatures low. Moving on down the board, we can see we have a safe slot PCIe slot. This is a reinforced 
slot. If you have a really heavy graphics card, or if you're doing something like transporting the build, you're less likely to suffer any catastrophic failure when you have that safe slot. In addition, we have DTS Custom Audio. So these are gaming boards, and what the DTS Custom Package allows you to do is fine tune your audio profile based on what type of game you're playing. So if you wanna highlight the enemy footsteps in your FPS game, or have a great engine sound if you're playing a racing game, you're able to achieve that very easily with DTS Custom Audio. We also have ESD protection. Now, of course, we recommend you are grounded whenever you're doing a build, but if there's any accidental static electricity discharge, your critical components will be protected in many cases. Finally, we have two M.2 slots. So they've both been positioned in a way that's away from component hotspots in order to maximize their performance. The lower slot even has a heatsink. So if you're using that next gen storage, you'll still be able to maintain peak performance with that drive. The next series we have is the Prime series. And this is really for kind of normal human beings who just want a computer that's focused on getting things done, focused on productivity. So there are two boards. The first is the Prime X570-P. And this is a really solid board. It has Dr. Moss power stages. These are powerful enough to drive all of the Ryzen CPUs, even the 16 core CPUs that are coming to the market. So don't worry, any Ryzen CPU, you'll definitely be able to handle it with this board. This board also comes with Optimem which gives us better routing for traces, which is going to give us more stable memory. If you are just looking for system stability or you're going to be overclocking your RAM, Optimem is going to be a definite feature that you want to watch out for. Now, the other board we have is the Prime X570 Pro. And this is a slight step up from the P. You're going to get a little more in terms of IO. So you'll see there's an extra PCIe slot. So if you do want to plug in Extra, an extra storage device or something like a capture card, it'll be a little bit easier for you to do that on the Pro. You're also gonna notice we've included an M.2 heatsink on the lower M.2 slot with the Pro. So if you are going to look to benefit as much as possible from a PCIe Gen 4 storage device, you're definitely going to want to consider the Pro as well. Another series we have is the WS series. And WS stands for workstation, and that is exactly what these boards are designed to be. For the X570 chipset, we have the WS X570 Ace. And this board is really solid if you're looking to get a lot of work done. If you're a professional, if you're someone who's a content creator, a scientist, you're doing some uh, financial analysis or something like that, this is gonna be a really solid board to give you a powerful workstation. Go for gold with the MSI MEG X570 Ace, the perfect foundation for your next-gen gaming rig. Supporting the latest AMD Ryzen processors with many cores and threads for unparalleled gaming performance. This motherboard offers the all-new PCI Express Gen 4 interface, so you are ready for the future of gaming graphics. Steel armor reinforcement ensures it can easily handle even the most extreme graphics cards on the market. For the best performance and the highest overclocks, this motherboard is equipped with a powerful VRM. The extended heat pipe cooling and frother heatsink make sure everything runs cool and stable, even under the highest workloads. The fan incorporates MSI's patented propeller blade technology for ultra-silent operation. If the temperature allows it, the fan will even stop spinning to eliminate any possible noise. The MEG X570 Ace is a true eye-catcher with its Mystic Light Infinity RGB lighting as well as multiple headers for additional RGB components to make sure you outshine the competition in every aspect. Get the best storage performance with three Lightning Gen 4 M.2 slots featuring the PCI Express Gen 4 interface and triple M.2 shield frother to ensure both cooling and protection. This motherboard offers Wi-Fi 6 connectivity, which was previously known as Wi-Fi AX. This will give you the highest transfer speeds and the lowest latency. The board is also equipped with both 2.5 Gigabit LAN and Intel Gigabit LAN if you prefer to use a cable connection. If you want to learn more about all the other features the MSI MAG X570 Ace has to offer, make sure to check out the product page.